Welcome back. We are about to head off to do Jean's story quest. In honor of that, of course, we have Klee, uh, Mana Official, and uh, Jean, of course, who has to watch over Klee. Make sure she stays out of trouble and doesn't go fish blasting or causing, you know, international incidents. Well, let us go and talk to Sarah about her problem. Sarah? What do you have to do with Jean? Oh, it's you! Over here! Over here! It's Sarah from the Good Hunter! Yes, it is, Paimon. Hello, Sarah. Oh, finally! I caught you! Finally! Uh, have you been asking for me? Something wrong? Sorry, I already ate. Oh, I'm not after your patronage. Well, okay, because I could probably eat some more, actually. I'm just looking at these nice, juicy-looking steaks. Um, and honestly, Paimon is always ready to eat more, so... I have something I'd like the Knights of Favonius to do for me. Oh? And I want you to pass on my request to the Acting Grand Master. I suppose I can do that, as an honorary knight, of course. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. Yeah, I suppose so, Paimon. I feel a little sad about that, actually. She didn't want to see us. You are close with her. We've, we're like peas in a pod. I'm her loyal slave. Uh. Uh. Slave? I never knew that such antiquated and aristocratic practices existed in the Knights of Favonius. They, they don't. This is just between me and her. <laughs> Sorry, the Traveler just has a weird sense of humor. Yeah, 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 I, I, I do. I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh yes, I must apologize for being unable to visit the knights in person. It's no but problem. But the restaurant has been so busy lately. Presumably, sometimes the knights actually show up. I know Eula and Amber come here sometimes. I assume the others do too. I don't think I've seen the others here before. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, right. seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. I mean, the Hillichurls always occupy that route, year-round. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. Huh. Is, is that true? Who is responsible for the deliveries, then? So you want someone to teach those hunters a lesson. <laughs> what? No! How is that going to help? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Paimon. I'm just being a little gremlin today. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. I, I will, but the party's gonna be me anyways. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Think. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. I mean, yeah. Have you seen her, Paimon? She's amazing. She keeps Klee relatively under control. And she was entrusted with the uh, job of acting Grandmaster by this legendary Grandmaster, who I still can't wait to meet someday. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles the bartender said he's been having some trouble too. Okay. I, I can go ask him as well. Is it with the one guy who's always drunk? Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it is the completely opposite direction, but it is also, like, only two blocks away, so... Not even... Master's day off. Oh. Wait, we call her master? Should I choose? Maybe I was a little bit closer than I thought. Let's see. Charles? Oh, you're outside. What are you doing out here? What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? I am not a kid. I'm probably older than you. Paimon does enjoy some fruit juice, though. Especially since we're here to help! 
We are. Help? Oh, yes. You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Well, not that new. But I will forgive you for thinking so, since this is a very old quest that we've been neglecting. Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great. Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. What kind of errand girl do you think I am? Go get your own tax forms. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. I mean, is there anywhere it's not? And yet the Dawn Winery is somehow so very rich. <laughs> yeah. That's mostly down to Master D. Luke's successful business model. Selling at a very nice uh, price. Why are the accounts with Jean? Does she do bookkeeping now too? Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. Really? I'm surprised she doesn't have people to do that for her. You know, accountants. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Oh, Jean yeah. takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. That is true. It is the best wine in the world. Especially dandelion wine, as I understand it. Paimon never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. I mean, yeah, she has to keep a lot of uh, colorful characters in line, so. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow, how do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? <laughs> I am uh, quite well. <sighs> when you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Damn straight. Um, are we going to be trying to give Gina a day off, Paimon? I'm beginning to think that's what we're doing. Although, I doubt the acting Grandmaster even has the time to spare for that. We'll go give her a day off. Take on her tasks for a day. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you uh, deliver it to her while you're getting your tax forms? Come on. Let's go and see Jean. We will. I gotta say, Paimon, I think it's probably because this is an early quest, but I feel like your snark levels are a little low today. Should I do? I guess, yeah, because I feel like her snark has increased over time. <gasps> Much to my enjoyment, of course. Hey, you two! You all here for Jean as well. I saw at least two or three other people. Margaret? What are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? Diona? <laughs> you mean Diona? No, not her. <laughs> I imagine Diona's probably still in a tavern. <laughs> Uh, is that is that mean and rude? Probably. Please don't tell Diana I said that. I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home. Now he's gone. Aw. Need me to help you find uh find him? Did you seriously think Diana was a house cat? N no. I just you know she didn't specify. <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? I guess we can have you look, uh, for your, or I guess we can have a look for your cat. Nah, you're always such a big softy. But aren't we in the middle of something? I mean, yeah, we're gonna go see Jean, but this is also gonna be another thing we have to do for her. Sarah and Charles need our help urgently, too. Let's go and see Jean first. What if the kitty's in trouble, Paimon? What are you gonna do? If that, if Prince gets hurt, when we could have saved him. You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. She, uh, I mean, she was probably going to put in a request with the Knights of Pavonius to put an all points bulletin out. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want 
Jean? To help look for your cat? I mean... What's wrong with that? It is a bit overkill. This feels like a better task for the Adventurer's Guild, probably. Jean's a really nice person. And she is. Such a solid line of reasoning. I feel like this is a classic case of good people finish last. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Consider it mentioned. Hey! Hey! Let's just go talk to Jean, Paimon. Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean! <laughs> it's okay, Paimon. Like I said, we're, we're going to end up doing it all for her anyways. I guess not. I guess the other two people I saw were the knights. Jean? How are you doing? <coughs> are you sick? Uh, acting Grandmaster? She has a name. Uh. Yeah, I think she's not feeling well. Oh, uh, Master Jean? Hey, Jean. How you doing? Feeling well under the weather? Oh. Hey, Jean. Jeannie Jean Jean. Oh, it's our honorary knight. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. Is that really all it was? Coughing made me think you were sick, but... How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. Yeah, we're just acting as, you know, messenger today. I see. And delivery person. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> oh yeah, now she's sick. I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <clears throat> make arrangements. Uh, Jean, just have us do it. Accordingly. In fact, you go sleep. Go rest. Maybe drink some nice hot green tea or something. Great! We didn't miss out uh -oh. on anyone's commissions, did we? She's gonna pass out. Sarah's hilly churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. Everything except for we'll be her well-being. Hmm. Jean, are you okay? No, she is not, Paimon. For her to actually pass out like that, this must be very serious. The, to the cathedral. I guess they have healers. Oh, Barbara, yeah, How's of course. Jean holding up? Is it serious? I haven't seen Barbara in a long time either. It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. That's good to hear. Man, yeah. That level of stress can actually make you sick, so... Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. Hmm. She needs to hire some extra staff, I think. To help with the more mundane things that are eating up her time. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. No? Well, you, we need to talk to the other Knights of Aphonius about intervening when she's pushing herself too hard. She really has it tough, doesn't she? Poor Jean. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? That I am. While the Master is down, the Knights should share her burden, no? Uh, that's what I've been saying. That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? I mean, maybe, but we are. I'm, well, we're just as capable as all of them to deal with hill of churls and deliver some tax return forms and look for a cat. We don't need Kaya to head out for that, though Clea might join us. And Amber would probably not mind hanging out with us. Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Very well. Paimon 
feels like she's trying to get rid of us. I... I guess? What, you think she wants a gene all for herself? Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. Did that echo just appear or... Is I just missing it? You sure everything's okay, Barbara? I already told you. I can take care of Jean on my own. Please help Jean out by completing her tasks. Very well. So this Jean story quest is going to have a distinct lack of Jean if she's sick the whole time. <laughs> oh, Klee. That'll be our real contribution to Jean. To Jean's workload is keeping an eye on Klee for her. I could have just teleported immediately, but oh well. Hmm, who are we gonna meet now? Oh, it's Kaya. Oh, maybe we will get Kaya after all. I've been waiting for you. You, you have. What for? I have been informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. Uh, it's no trouble. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. Yeah, but no, Paimon, this is the Kaya who's asking us for a favor. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. Is this the part where you give us our reward? <laughs> <laughs> I must say I like your style. I thank you. But before we can discuss a reward, there are some things I hope you can assist the knights with. Yeah, add it to the task list. Illiterals, cat, uh, tax return forms. Things like helping to fill in for Jean? Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else... Oh. I guess we don't have to do any of those three. I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. Or we will. I mean, due care. One is literally handing off a few papers. The cat one, I mean... Uh, I mean, it is just finding a cat, but on the other hand... Could accidentally get into a high place or something and get itself hurt if you're not careful. Hillitrolls are pretty straightforward, too. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. All right. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the Honorary Knight is personally overseeing these cases. And what are you going to be doing all this time, Kaya? You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? Yeah, what Paimon said. <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. Oh, such there as? There are so many things to... to prepare. Like your bed for a nice nap? <sighs> Fine, then. <laughs> so it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. Yes. See... Oh, oh, wow. We haven't had that happen in a while. Man, that, that, I actually forgot that was a thing that was that always used to happen. The, uh, the voice lines getting cut off. Man, that takes me back. Looks like Margaret is first. Oh, Venti. What are you so, doing here? Yours is the cat that went missing. But did did the Knights of Aphonius ask you to help? I forget if they know who you are. I don't think they do. Venti! Have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary, it is I who needs the helping. You you don't. You could easily find the cat. I'm sure. Like how it you could probably feel how it moves the wind or something. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince 
is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, I guess these two tasks are one and the same, as far as we're concerned. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> yeah, a little. But, Venti, I don't know if this is your first time with cats, but audacious is barely scratching the surface. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right? Mischievous is also an incredible understatement. Spoken just like a parent who chooses to spoil said rascal. Indeed. Just like Barbados. <laughs> oh. Wait, not like the toneless, uh, or the not like the tone deaf bard? <laughs> yes, quite, quite. <clears throat> now, let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. Yes. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. Of course, I guess she didn't, you know, she was actually trying to talk about the Archon, but Margaret doesn't know Venti is Barbados, so. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Don't try to understand the mind of a cat, Paimon. It is a fool's errand. Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. This isn't a ball. I, I, I guess it's got strings, though. What? <laughs> I mean, she's right, Paimon. These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them oh. easier to carry. I... I thought it had actually taken your liar, and not <laughs> strings rolled up in a ball. Well... Yeah, you brought that on yourself, Venti. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. That seems like a good way to get them all tangled. The strings contain animal energy? I mean... I feel like anything he owns probably contains an contains animal energy, Paimon. That'll help us! It's time for you to use your elemental sight again! Thank you, Paimon. Paimon, sure there must be some elemental footprints or something! Thank you all. Prince should be somewhere What's around the stuff? marketplace or the residential area. It's a black cat you're looking for. Thank you, Margaret. Was this actually the first story quest? I just, uh... Uh... It, it almost has a uh, oh, tutorial take feel. It's little Prince's favorite food. Thank Maybe you. it'll help you find him. When Paimon makes comments like that. Here, princey, princey, princey. I didn't. Oh, there we go. Prince, are those actually kitty paws? <laughs> yes, they are. Where did you go? Hey, look! That black cat looks really familiar. Haven't we seen it in the cat's tail before? Paimon, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I don't pay that close attention. Wait, is Prince the... Prince isn't the master, is he? The card master? No, he doesn't have a hat, though. Keep running. Where'd you go? Wow, Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. No, it did not. See if you can approach him crouching from behind. That way your footsteps will be quieter. Sure. It must be difficult not being able to float. Hey. You little. I'm going... Mm. I don't have anything witty to say at the moment, Paimon, but you wait like five minutes and mm, you're going to be reeling from the burn I deliver. If you're anxious to find Prince... Why not coax him to you with some fish? Kitty cats do love eating fish. If you run out of fish, go grab some from the lake. Now back to it. Look at you ordering me around, Paimon. Can you go, Prince? Higher. Uh. Yep. 
uh, they said? Oh, Crouch. I see. I think Prince is actually... Is Prince up? Or... Yeah, Prince must be up. Let's see. Where are you, little prince? Actually, maybe prince is down below. Where are you? see him. Is this pointing to those two? Oh, it is. Oh, I can roll. Cool. Um. Prince should be somewhere around the marketplace. Remember, he's got black fur. Okay. So it is, in fact, not going to tell me where Prince is. That's a dog. Amber! What are you doing here? Got it. I'll set off right away. All right, her task. Amber! Are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly trails on the delivery route? Well, I would love to join you, but I'm looking for a cat right now. Oh. What? Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. Yeah, Am Amber is a professional, and she's very skilled. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Oh, you know, Sarah, if you don't have, you know, the ingredients you need, you could always either close down shop for the day or say we're out of that item. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. Oh. <clears throat> Anything we can do to help? I can help with the cooking. Really? You don't mind helping? I yeah, I'm a, I'm a great cook. I've helped out at Wangshu Inn, in the uh, the kitchen of um, Wanmin Restaurant, a few other places I think too. I've cooked for Adeptus uh, Adepti. Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Thank you. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. You want me to help out with you as well? Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. I probably already have them. Are you sure she can be trusted? Hey! It might end up tasting a bit funky. Hi, Mon! Since when do you doubt my cooking abilities? We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save I the Good Hunter's business. offended and appalled. You will not be getting any dinner from me. You can find your own food. I wouldn't want it tasting a little funky. A fight? For this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Well, I got, I have like a thousand fowls and probably a thousand sweet flowers, so. Okay, go and get ready. Maybe more. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, oh yes, okay. Right. Is Amber gonna cook too? Today's recommendation is. Where are you going, Amber? Let me talk to you. Aw. Well, let's find. Is that a cat? No, that's a dog. Let's find Prince first. Where are you, Prince? She said by the market. Is that Prince? Take your pick. You'll find no second rate items at Wangers. 
Here you go. Got her. Him. I assume. What? I just captured you. Prince! Where did you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. He was just exploring the market, you know, enjoying himself. We definitely had our work cut out for us looking for him. Well, it wasn't that hard. It was, you know, I just mostly just got distracted by Margaret's uh, quest marker. Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Oh, well, that's easy because he's a cat. Looks like those two need some time to themselves. He would, he would have come back eventually. And here are your astral iron strings, Venti. Venti, not tone deaf bard. Wow, Paimon. Maybe this is before he uh, got that nickname. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic they would turn up. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, really? Uh, you gonna, are you <gasps> right? You're allergic to cats. I, I'll take the private performance, though. Uh, what? A chew. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there it is. <coughs> Apologies. At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Yeah. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? Yeah, I'll be honest, I also forgot about his cat allergy. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 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 Please cover your nose when you sneeze. You can sneeze into your arm or something, Venti. Unless you're controlling the wind to prevent anyone, you know, to contain it or something. I still want that private performance, too. Aw, puppy. Alright. Oh, hey, Lisa. Yeah, she'd be a good one, too. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Yeah, she'd be a good person to handle something like that. She is a scholar. That's uh, actually... It's probably overkill for, uh... You know, bookkeeping in the, uh... That's a phonius, but... Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool! Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wasn't my nickname Cutie? Maybe I'm mistaking you for someone else. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Yes? Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order, but unfortunately we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. Hmm. You need me to go find that delivery? It might be running to the hill trolls that, uh, are stopping Sarah's delivery, too. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? Uh, that we can. What's so urgent about this order? Ah, <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Hmm. Okay. But my next drink uh, here had better be on the house. <laughs> I'm positive that next time my boss, Master D. Luke, is here, he'll pick up the tab for you. Oh. Excellent. I'll be sure to drink him into the ground. Sounds about right. There. Oh, I want to talk to Lisa too. Damn it. Come in, take a seat. We have a few special Ernest. I guess we uh should handle this before we handle uh Sarah's stuff. Oh yeah. I mean that gorge is quite dangerous. I uh I'm not surprised they ran into trouble. Oh, 
Hello, Crystal. Why? Ernest. What are you doing down there? You, uh, under, you're not under attack. So this is where Charles's delivery disappeared to. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. You, why do you just assume people were on their way to rescue you? We didn't know you were in trouble. We were just investigating a late delivery. And also, you're not in trouble. Rescue you from what? In all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by Hilly Churls. Oh. If you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. You, I, I'm going to need you to tone down the attitude, Ernest. Or I'll just leave you here. How about that? Fear not. My friend here is a Hilly Churl exterminator extraordinaire. Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. Didn't you say you were robbed? And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. Eh, don't worry, I probably do. I'll be waiting up ahead. Yeah, yeah I, I guess you didn't mean you were really robbed then. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Take that. La la la. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Delve into destiny. Odd, oh, reveal thyself. Any others? Only two hill trolls. Oh, there you are. Who rest for the wicked? more so far nothing too bad but we are, oh there's an ambush midnight phantasmagor decided by destiny i really don't need the healing but Has a better ambush, but nothing too bad still. Where are you, Hilla Churls? There they are. Don't you dare. Yeah, I feel like it was probably going to, uh, run into that and blow up. So not fighting optimally. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's casually falling, following behind us. Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. It is. Maybe next time you'll be a little bit uh, less. Um, I'm not even sure what to describe it as. Less uh, of a of a jerk when I come to help you. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. 
Mr. D Loop? Oh, thank you. All right. That handles Charles. Next up is uh, Sarah. All right, Sarah. Have you brought me three sweet flowers and three fowls? Yes, I have. Let me see. Like I said, I have thousands of them. Yep, that's everything. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. Oh, that's that's a classic. I, I can easily make that for you. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. In fact, I might have one prepared already. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. Be sure to serve it while it's hot. Oh. All right, I'll make it fresh. Sweet madame is there you are oh, i guess i didn't have any prepared there we go any news on that sweet madame here you are one sweet madame received is that really all you needed i feel like you could have easily cooked that yourself mm. This smells absolutely divine. This is nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef. Never mind a sous chef. Thank you, Sea Paimon. Come out smelling funky. I'll show you funky. Hmm. Since you cook so well, uh, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. Very well. Sticky honey roast? Paimon's sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. Yeah. I mean, we've made it many times. That's right. A mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Good choice. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Do I really not know it already? Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate having my cooking complimented. As soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. Of course. I think I've already made that before. Sticky honey roast. Uh... There it is. Yeah, we've made that many times. Sugar, carrots, and meat. I know I don't actually have to do this, but... I'm still waiting on one sticky honey roast. Have you got it? That I do. I have 18 more if you want. Or 17 more. This is... Did you really cook this? Yes. This is quite simply astonishing. You were born to be a head chef. Thank you. Pointed stare. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes. Thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything else. Wonderful. I mean, you think I don't need to go help her? I, I'd love to hang out with Amber. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you hmm. at Good Hunter if you want it. Thank you. Though, I'd rather go continue seeing the world, but... <sighs> I think we're finally finished with Maybe the commissions we were doing for Jean. It's been Somewhere a else. Life with Jean really is hard work. Wonder how she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. Yeah, let's. I mean... Yeah, the tasks just keep kept piling on and piling on. Well, we got through it. That was just the extra stuff, not, you know, her normal daily duties. Barbara, how's Jean? Hi, Barbara. We're back. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. I, we're, we're okay. Paimon didn't do anything. But, and I'm, you know, I'm used to the, to the work. 
I'm sure you must be exhausted too. How is Jean doing? Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. Excellent. Can we see her? That's great news! Let's go and see her! But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. Hmm, that does sound like Jean. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Lady Vanessa? Do I know Lady Vanessa? Where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? Oh. That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Oh. Right, I, I'm, I'm sure we've heard that before, but it just doesn't come up often enough for me to remember. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Well, she works in a cathedral. Maybe she takes, maybe she takes Jean's, you know, thoughts into confidence, like a confession almost. Except for this isn't really a confession. Jean uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. Jean is still recovering, right? Will she be okay out there on her own, in her condition? That's what I'm worried about, too. But I still have work to do here. Yeah, don't worry, we'll go find her. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the Animal Archon protect you. And Jean. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Well, maybe. He's a bit hands-off as far as our cons go. <laughs> I still love Lily's little hat. There she is. Hey, Jean. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. Hmm. She's your hero, I isn't she? I I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger Hello, Jean. And uh, I'm pretty sure I've heard Lady Vanessa's name before, but not much about her. Hi, Jean. Are you feeling better now? I think she was one of the people who basically led the revolt against the aristocracy, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. It's no trouble. Just hope you're doing well. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. I don't think that. I think she was just praying. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? You can always rely on, uh, on us and the other Knights of Favonius. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. Good. Mind if I grab that crystal fly? It's going to fly away and I want it. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? Mm. The protector that Vanessa was. I mean... You can just be Jean. That'll probably be enough. You don't have to do things alone, either. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? She does. I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. Right. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. <laughs> I think you are. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Right. Then, she founded the Knights of Havonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. I mean... Haven't you earned the title of a uh, dandelion knight as well? Dandelion knight? Isn't that your title? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Actually, all of the knights of Favonius masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of dandelion knight or lion fang knight. Oh. Neat. Uh, is the grand master then like the lion fang knight or? now you too want to be as gentle as the dandelion knight and yet as fierce as the lion fang knight i mean they're the same person right yes 
I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. Have you inherited both titles? After all, it is a lot to live up to. I could get used to Jean the Lion Fang Knight. Eh, though Dandelion Knight suits you better. Paimon thinks so too. Yeah. Huh? Jean? What? Is Fenty playing an instrument? Who's there? <laughs> oh, an abyss mage. Caught red handed. Red handed? For doing what? Praying to Vanessa? Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then hmm. you two show up and ruin everything. You are a fool if you think you could have handled Jean. Um, but I don't think you understand what red handed means, Abyss Mage. How did they know about Jean's condition? Maybe they're responsible for overworking her? You know, I mean, causing all these delays and things that would require her attention. Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. Yeah, I don't think for a second they could have stood a chance against you, even sick. I mean, I guess if you, you know, when you were unconscious, I, they probably could have done it, but I mean, you wouldn't have been unconscious out here. Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. In a similar stop. fashion. <coughs> we'll stop him for you, Jean. After him. <coughs> Though they can just disappear really fast. Jean, you're still recovering. You'd be luring Jean into a trap. No, I must go after him. But we're coming with you. <sighs> Jean. You can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Eh, yeah, problem has got a good point, Jean. Uh, We've dealt with I many abyss mages. But to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. But you won't be getting, uh, letting an enemy get away with this. You'll be delegating the task to your honorary knight. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. I mean, Jean, I know you're new to the Grandmaster role, but a part of leadership is understanding that you can't do everything yourself. It's what you got to rely on your subordinates. <laughs> oh, this bit of uh, this always amuses me. Where are we going, Jean? I don't see the Abyss Mage. Nothing to say? Oh. Well, let's hunt you down. The Abyss Mage has disappeared somewhere deep inside this underground ruin. Do not spare this evildoer. Lower? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Eh, this should probably be pretty easy, though. These earlier stuff usually is. Oh, is that him right there? Make sure I don't miss any chests that might be in here. I just realized this is actually a very suboptimal <laughs> party for this. Ow! Shark. Are you hurt? Yes. Ugh, darn him and his traps. Seriously. Walked right into that one. I wasn't expecting a trap. How badly are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being injured because of me is the last thing I would wish for. Well, it's a good thing you were an excellent healer. Let me handle this alone. No. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We are coming too. <sighs> okay, but before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion breeze. Of course. Thanks. 
You're amazing. She is. We got a trial version. Wind, hear me. And everyone is fully healed, of course. Oh, her sword, uh, her weapon actually doesn't look like the one she uh, has in the, um, you know, when she appears in, like, cutscenes and stuff. I wonder if that one is, like, a Favonia sword or something. <laughs> it's always fun. Uh, Gene. I mean, maybe she can't handle this alone, but still. She shouldn't. I mean... Fear of water, what? Here's some water for you. Uh, challenge complete. Oh, just the uh, dealing with the subordinates, sure. Ah, oh, there's the water. I. Did you think I was going to be scared of the water? Because I'm really not. Oh, hey, sigils. I haven't got those in a while. The animal kind. This mage. <laughs> uh, those aren't your flames, those are trap flames. Get over there. Can I break that? It's no trouble. Oh. There we go. I guess we could turn those off. No. Get down there. <laughs> I love doing that with her ability. Where are you, Abyss Mage? There they are. said that. You're just an abyss mage. You are uh, the lowest tier of abyss uh, dwellers, are you not, abyss mage? You're no lecturer or herald. I think those are just going to keep coming, aren't they? Fair enough. To, uh, Barbados, guide us. Point is to swirl them like that, yeah. Yeah. Reveal thyself. 
There we go. Good riddance. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. You just needed some rest. Though maybe she did some healing too, I don't know. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Seriously, take a day off every now and then. You strike me as the kind of hard worker who just never takes time for yourself. Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she's not upset with me. I don't think so. She she respects you uh, greatly. Bye bye. This was actually a uh, quite a short one. Just a single episode's worth. Oh, talking to the gate knight. What's what's up, uh, Gene? Master, you finally returned. The Animo Archon protects you. <laughs> Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? No. Yes, at the Angel Share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... No. She needs to rest. Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grandmaster. Is this a surprise party? Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, this I will is a go. surprise party. You should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I've had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that they aren't just pushing more work on her. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. <laughs> now he's dumping things onto Jean. <laughs> oh, poor Swan. Well... Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? I think it's nothing serious. And she runs fast. Nice long legs, I guess. It's the bar, right? Yeah. Sounds like they're having fun in there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's the feast we were helping prepare. Like a banquet. Oh, what's all this? <laughs> Why to go? This is kind of, this is what you needed to prepare, isn't it? Yeah. It's a thank you party for you. Well, look at this. Well deserved. Good job, you guys. You're good. It's well done. Super considerate. A thank you party. For being you. Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting grandmaster. Yeah. And you do so much work all over Mondstadt. It is. I mean can't be easy being thrust into that role. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Jean. Aww. You deserve it, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. You guys need to force her to take a day off every now and then, though. I don't care what it takes. Make her take time off. Uh, Jean? I, uh... I, are you bashful? Don't know what to say. Huh? Is this Jean when she's shy? <laughs> I've never seen her like this. Kind of adorable. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. Yeah. Maybe I should have taken her to see her, uh, her fan. The one who's always training to be like her. I... Uh, this is just all such a surprise. Yeah, that's the, it's a surprise party, silly. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Dig in, enjoy yourself. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. In fact, I'll have you know I made at least two of the dishes here. 
can't say I made that big block of cheese or the satisfying salad. At least I assume that's a satisfying salad. Ooh, that sticky honey roast, though. But sweet there the are so many things I still need to do. Oh, those can wait. There will always be things you need to do. As soon as you finish something, something new will take its place. You still gotta take time for yourself. Work-life balance, Gene. Learn it, live it, love it. <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished <laughs> off your work for you. Good job, Kai. Every last task. Well done. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? Yeah. It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be that much. And the tax returns? Yeah. I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Yeah, I still think it's a bit overkill for a scholar of your caliber, but yeah, you are more than capable of such work. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we 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 found that, and I still stand by. All this work is below your pay grade. This is what your subordinates are for. That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight, and he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. Yep. This is your day off. And you're going to have one next week, and the week after, and every week from now on. Right? It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Benty, do you ever get bashful and awkward when people do that in front of you? Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? Ah, it was a part of my task with Sarah. <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. Me? I was, I didn't organize it. I helped out. Oh, D looks back there. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. Sometimes I forget that uh, male traveler is the uh, assumed default. So relax already. There's no need to yeah, be so much. the canonical choice. Uh, this explains a lot. All those last minute urgent orders was you all along. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <laughs> you know, considering he doesn't get along with the Knights of Avonius, I'm kind of surprised he did this. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way... Yeah. I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for mm -hmm. her hard work. Yeah. Good that you can admit that, Diluc. Despite your apprehensions about the Knights. Oh, Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Yeah. Just let her dig into that uh, sticky honey roast or uh, whatever that is a mug of. It looks like a beer with a very thick head. Agreed. Now, let the party begin. Spirited and cheerful party it looks enjoyed like by all. Seems to be partying hard. Paimon yeah. thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Yeah. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Yeah, we will, but that's probably what's going to end everything, so let's talk to Kaya first. Hey, having a good time? Why did you say I was the organizer? You were clearly the organizer. The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. Right. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. Mm. So you chose the person who was the least close to her. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. After all, 
You did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. That's fair. No, thank you. You know, I just realized, Kaya, Queen's not here. Is that because she would just make <laughs> it in <laughs> make it impossible for Jean to relax, or was she not introduced uh, to the game yet? So, you gave me the credit to hide your own shyness? Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> it is. <laughs> you think so? I do. So you admit it! <laughs> I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. Of course you are. You look. Give me something strong. That's class number 37. In fact, uh... I'm actually gonna take an old-fashioned, I think. That's number 37. Wait, you... <laughs> you, um, upset at how much people are drink. Wait, is it Fenty who's on glass number 37 for just himself? I, I could believe that. What's d -Loop doing? Just weeping over how much this is putting him under. I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my <laughs> wine. Yeah. Yeah. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. Oof. <laughs> Hear that tone deaf bard? When he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. <laughs> That's mean. I love it. D Luke, you're a meanie. He is. But also, Venti's taking advantage right now. I'm joking, of course. Oh. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway. So I shall spare him the bill. Damn it. It would have been so funny. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. It, I mean, he is a literal god, so... Yeah. But he does get drunk like normal, too. It makes it quite impressive. Oh, my word! The Tawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say! Don't pretend you haven't drank in it before. I'm pretty sure you drink this at every chance you get. I would never be able to afford this normally. Oh. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please. <laughs> but I know you drink wine. I guess it's just not Dawn Winery wine. Fenty can drink a frightening amount. Yeah, but we knew that already, Paimon. Ah, hello! I didn't see you there. I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. Much like my balance, it deserves to be enjoyed for <laughs> generations to come. I mean, I do agree with you, Venti. Wine is... Mm, just wonderful. The nectar of the gods. Actually, yeah, in this case, it is, in fact, absolutely the nectar of the gods. Of this god specifically. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? He, he, he might not be slurring, but he's definitely drunk. That would be the drink talking. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the city of the wind must be compelled to taste this <laughs> finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! Here, here. Amber, how are you doing? Oh, wow. Yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tears. Whatever is the matter? Well, the food looks delicious. I'm a little sad that it looks completely untouched, though. Was it not to anyone's, uh, liking? Two things. One, this sweet madame. Two, this sticky honey roast. So try it. Eat it. They're delicious, I promise. Did you make them? Yes, I did. You better believe it. Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I've been a great cook for as long as I can remember. I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Mmm. I should probably get... Sarah's permission first. I don't think she'd mind, though. Um, 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 um. 
<laughs> I appreciate that. Om nom nom indeed. Has Amber been drinking? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I hope so. Everyone should be drinking. Enjoy yourselves. Barbara? <sighs> this is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. You guys are the ones who chose to uh, throw a party. Would a drink help you relax? <sighs> is there anything without alcohol? I... Probably. I think they have fruit juices. What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together, but I always add some bright red. Bright red. Red? Let me guess. Tomatoes. No, watermelon. Wine? <laughs> Chilies. Oh. I add chili peppers. To your drink? Ah. Uh. Are you making a Bloody Mary or something? Chili pepper? In a drink? I'm with, I don't I don't like that. I want, I want my drink to go down nice and smooth and not burning. It was not in that way. Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there. Together, in the quiet of the night, hmm. while the rest of the world melted away around them. Talk about me and Paimon or me and Jean? Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, Mel. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. Yeah, you wouldn't mind, though. I'm just saying, Jean went upstairs to the balcony, alone. Now's your chance. <laughs> oh... Lisa, are you trying to hook me and Jean up? Well, I mean, I'm not opposed. If you want to be my wingman. Anyone else hiding in a corner? No. Wait. Through here? Yeah. Hello, Jean. Oh, it is you. It's me. Having a good time? Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I don't know. I want to thank you again. You don't need to thank me. I mean, thank you. I, I appreciate it, but we're happy to help. Actually, I know nothing about this whole thing either. Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. <laughs> it has lifted my spirits. That's good. It's all that matters. And it has taught me something. What? What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion fang knight. <laughs> yeah. It, nothing wrong with that either. Yeah, I noticed in this quest... I don't think Jean ever uses contractions. I don't think I've ever seen her use one. I should pay close attention. The Lion Fang Knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. Right. The Dandelion Knight represents her, uh... But it was the Dandelion Knight that represented her yeah. hopes for the future. A future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. That's a future you represent. Yeah, Vanessa would be so proud of you right who you are right now. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Well, I won't pretend to understand at all the nature of what happens to you guys when you die. But let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Of course. If you ever need me, just let me know. I do like to come back to visit every now and then. I might be busy, but like hell, we're about to go and do an alchemy event after we finish up here. But 
After that, just let me know and I'll be back at any time. Well, I think that is everything. The end of Gene's story quest. You can, uh, yeah, you can definitely, uh, tell it's one of the earlier ones, but it's, it's still fun. Damn it, I always talk to him, I swear. Screw you, six-fingered Jose. But yeah, all right. Next time, like I said, we'll be hanging out with, uh, I think I saw, yeah, Gene. Oh, yeah, Gene again. Uh, Lisa, and I hope we'll see some other friendly faces like Klee and Albedo and Sucrose, but we'll see.